Welcome back to part two. We're here with USN to talk about the power of trust with Harry AA. So at the age of 16, you're the man, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you're the ting. Yeah. I'm doing bits. You're doing bits. <laughs> What's going through your head when, you know, there's, there's a limelight on you. What's going through your head at that moment? Is, is it hard to stay disciplined? Is it quite easy to get carried away? What was, your, um, what was your mindset and then who helped you through that? Give a lot of thanks to my parents. Yep. It didn't matter if I was world. So I come home, I'm world, double world youth champion, yep. which was the first time anyone had done that. First thing I had to do pretty much was do the washing up. It, it, it was hard for me to feel like I was bigger than my boots because even though I'd won the championships, there's more challenges to be had. The next year there was the world junior championships, which is going, going to be even harder because I was 17 competing against 19 year olds, which I then went on to win. I had some issues in my back at the time. So take me so, back to that injury. I remember doing the indoor championships. I jumped. I like to do a jump before I run. As I landed, I just felt something boom in my back. And I was just like, oh. I mean, I still went on to run the race and win the race. But after that, I, I just wasn't the same. I couldn't move properly. So what happened? I had a double stress fracture in my back. I was in a back brace. I had to learn how to sort of walk properly again, I had to learn how to do dribbles again. All I was thinking about was running. My coach at the time, someone who I really, really believed in, we'd clash heads every so often because I wanted to push training further forward. Nice. I wanted to compete that year and he was saying, look, let's take a year out, let your central nervous system, you know, reset. And we were clashing, but he had my best interests at heart. So going into the next year, I came out with a bang rang personal best here, there, everywhere. And I made, made the Olympic squad, which I was told that I may not, never run again. So the fact that within that period of time, I was back. And not only was I back, I was in the 2008 Olympic team. Seems like that you've always believed it as well. Self-belief has got you to yeah. where you are. The way I talk to you, you yeah. always, <laughs> in your head is always, you're always talking about that you were going to be this sprinter, that you've always yeah. wanted to be the sprinter and you are the sprinter that you want to be today. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, everyone needs to believe in themselves and having trust in yourself. There's nothing wrong with being your biggest fan, trusting yeah, yeah, exactly. yourself and trusting everything around you, trusting that you've got the right people around you, trusting that you're doing the right thing and trusting your ability. Join me in part two where I'm going to be putting Harry double A through his paces, but apparently he's got a challenge for me. Let's see what he's got.